Kentucky. As we've shown you since last week, some people lost everything. CBS 8's Brian White is live in Southcrest tonight, where some homeowners were approached by house flippers in the wake of the disastrous flooding there. Brian? I'm here near Beta Street in the flood zone where house flippers have been going around the neighborhood, going door to door, making lowball cash offers to people trying to buy their homes, and people around here find it offensive. No, it's not right, man. Respect us. We lost a lot of stuff. Neighbors on Beta Street say people were coming around on Tuesday, the day after the flood, looking to buy homes for cash. I told them, what? What are you guys doing here? Don't you see what we just went through? And you guys are already offering to buy homes. Gerardo Hernandez lives on Beta Street. He said two guys made a lowball offer to his neighbor. 100,000, that's what they were offering. Her, and it's worth more than that. They were offering 100,000 to neighbors. It's not right. It's not right what they were just doing. Tuesday after the flood, they were out here in the morning. Couldn't believe it. Neighbors tell me home prices in the area range from six hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars. A far cry from some of the cash offers being made. Many feel it's insensitive, if not predatory. If I have the authority, I will stop them. I would get, them, I, I will kick them out of the neighborhood. Ramon de la Mora lives nearby, and he doesn't like what he's been hearing. It is way too soon. I, it seems to me like it's an abuse because if I had, if I didn't have any insurance, they came and offered me something. I might take it. Spencer Lugash, president of the San Diego Association of Realtors, wants to warn people to avoid making rash decisions. People who want to so, quote unquote flip homes, it's not an inherently bad thing. Um, that provides a lot of benefit to people who need a quick sale or want, want quick cash. But of course, we never want people taking advantage of any type of situation, whether it's a natural disaster like these floods or somebody who may be um, suffering from a foreclosure issue. Meanwhile, neighbors on 42nd Street in Mountain View also find these offers distasteful. At least let the dust settle a little bit before you come try, you know, take advantage of people. Now, granted, there may be some situations where taking a lowball cash offer may make sense for someone. It may be the only option for someone in a bind. But for the most part, people we talk to, they say it's not a good look for these companies. In fact, they find it distasteful and even predatory. Reporting live in Southcrest, Brian White, CBS 8.